Okay guys, uh, <clears throat> I modified my uh, PC a little bit uh, since the since I originally posted the video when it was basically finished. Um, I took some people's suggestions and I watched some other videos and I decided that I'm going to use all the fans that came with the case. These are the actual fans right here. Not actual fans. Um, fractal design fans. These are fractal design. And I moved my two noctuas. Uh, I put one here and one in the back. I closed up this space that I had a fan here before. I had two fans here. What I noticed was that in this space right here it hasn't been really getting it hasn't been really pulling out too much heat from this one. When I put my hand over the two fans that were here only this one was really pulling out heat because the cooler was sending warm air this way and this one was pulling out more. I had one of these uh, fractal design fans right here which was a little slow pulling out the air from from the back so what I did was I put both of these in a where the heat is going to um, accumulate the most I put the, those fans in there and these are industrial natural fans uh, let me see what the model number is worth one second uh, I think they're just simply called industrial let me see Alright, here's the box with my other cooler in there for now. One second. What was this? These fans called? They were called uh, Natural NFF 12 Industrial PPC 2000 RPM. These bad boys are uh, designed for heat, um, working in hot conditions. So this would this would be perfect for that situation there. Oh crap! A little bit of a problem. I got too much junk over here. All right. As you can see, I got a little junk here. I'm not planning on cleaning this up. Anyway. That's why this room is my computer junk room. Another thing I, I, I did was I uh, figured I make the router uh, to cool off the router a little better, quieter. I put the big fan from my other case. There's a spare one that I bought because the other one was starting to make noise, but that's a big uh, Antec fan right there. They call them Big Boy. I think it's let me think I think it's 200 millimeter it looks big anyway that's besides the point but anyway so um, so that's what I did also what I did was I moved the blu-ray drive down right here it was up here uh, because I ended up using the laptop hard drive from my uh, my mom's Asus uh, laptop which I replaced that one with uh, SSD. You could see a video about that. So I got that drive in here and I mounted it into onto the grill. So because there, I, I I removed the drive cage completely because I'm not gonna be putting more drives than this. That's one terabyte right here, and the SSD which is uh, right there in front of the fan that is 512 that's the boot drive so M.2 boot drive 
So that's basically it. I have a feeling this is going to be the final configuration of the computer. Um, what I'm going to eventually get is I'm probably going to get a one of the new video cards, maybe a 1080, uh, to re replace that. I'm not sure. Right now, I don't like the prices of those cards, so I'm not going to get it right now. Um, maybe one day I get it. I took the speaker that I had there, the little square speaker, it was kind of, it wouldn't work with these fans in there. So I ended up using the little speaker that I had spare from some other motherboard, I don't remember which one. I got this from but uh, I'm using that one that one's beeps kind of loud which uh, I guess I have to deal with it and I took that little fan that was here blowing on top of the SSD M.2 SSD um, it ended up being too I don't know too useless I don't know I, I need I gotta get something better in there if I'm gonna use it. Plus I added these two right here so they're gonna be blowing more cool air, forced air from there. I believe these are 900 RPM max. Not sure about these I think. That's what my motherboard detected at 900 RPM, RPM max. I got the intake sensor. It measures the air temperature coming in right here. And let's see what it is now. Just just curious. It's hot in this room again. Today is Tuesday the 26th. And let's see what we got here as far as the temperature is inside the room again. 33. It always goes higher right here for a sec. And then it... I don't get it. It's just... 36 there's a little bit of heat here I guess the tiles are bad here anyway so according to this I'm getting at 33 intake temperature of 34 Celsius 33 something like that let's see what I what the motherboard says that's the one that says T sensor come on let's focus uh, and that's showing 33, so that's uh, close. Anyway, so the video is eight minutes long. I don't think there's anything else I gotta say. This is a nice uh, one thing I can say about this drive is it's got 32 megs cache, 7200 RPM. Um, it's plenty fast for what I gotta be doing with it. The SSD is gonna be carrying most of the speed load from for the operating system boot up. Um, somebody asked me in one of the videos um, where I did with the to make the vin if I figure out anything to do uh, to make the Windows boot faster. There really is not much you could do. Let me see. Um, I know I disabled the page file completely. Let me see system. The screen flickers because of CRT. You know I don't know how to get into that section from here. So let me uh, let me go through this other section. I just go straight to the control panel. Uh, where would that be here? Hold on a second. Let's close this. Let's close this for now. Start. Settings, 
it brings this up. Oh man, uh, I got used to this Windows 10. Let me see if it's in here somewhere. It's got to be in the system. Power and sleep, advanced power settings maybe? No. Alright, go to control panel home. There it is. So I'll use this. Let's make the icons bigger. Uh, system. Advanced system settings. Performance. I'm sure everybody's familiar with that. Advanced change. I have page file disabled completely. This computer has 32 gigs of memory, 30 DDR4. I believe it's running at 3.2 gigahertz right now. Or well, maybe 3000, I don't remember what I did the benchmark at last time. Let's see, will this show me? No, this is not going to show me here. Um, the PC is overclocked at 4000 4, right now, 4 gigahertz. Tur max turbo speed, because it, it, it's been hot here. And that's the highest uh, temperature reached with uh, hot room temperature. I, uh, I mean, uh, I set the CPU for 75 Celsius. I don't want to go over that. So let me see, uh, memory. Yeah, the, the memory is stock right now, so I'm gonna have to. I, I think since I changed the the way the fans are, I I left it at stock. But it does run at 3.2 gigahertz, 3,200 3, megahertz. Um, it's a G-scale memory that uh, can go as high as 3,600 uh, under perfect conditions. I was able to get it to highest 3,200, which is still okay, which is much faster than stock memory. So anyway, so... Um, this may be the last video I have of this computer. Let me scrape off this sticker crap here from the, when I had the little fan attached, but that's not a big deal. So, uh, you guys have any questions? Let me know. Check out my other videos about this build. I counted about 15 videos that I made, various different things. I still have some I haven't published, I don't know if I'm going to publish them or not. But, um, that's basically it, so. Anyway, uh, talk to you guys later.